Our dreams before marriage are of marital bliss. After all, most of our examples are Cinderella and the TV shows where Prince Charming sweeps us off our feet to live happily ever after. They forget the real life portion. Most of us enter marriage or a relationship by way of the in love experience. We meet someone whose physical attributes as well as personality create an electrical connection to trigger our system to alert us of the love feelings. This is where we start the process of getting to know the person. We start dating, going out to dinner, maybe a movie. However, our true interest is most likely not what is playing at the theater. Our intention is truly to find love. Could this electric, eccentric, tingly feeling inside be just that, real love? Is the quest to find real love, you may learn, in the quest to find real love, you may learn things about your potential partner that is a total deal breaker. It could even be on the first date. That's when that tingly, eccentric feeling just disappears. Other times, that feeling seems to ignite more and more with each encounter you have and you find yourself just wanting more and more of it. You may even say something like, I think I'm falling in love. Eventually, you are convinced it is the real thing. This is the real deal. At this point, many discuss marriage or moving in together or whatever that next step looks like for them. After all, you're in love. At its peak, the in love experience is euphoric. Can you say emotionally obsessed with each other? You just can't stop thinking about each other. Some go as far as to say they long to be together. Embracing stimulates dreams of marriage and ecstasy. When a person is in love, they have an illusion that their beloved is perfect. Couples' dreams before they marry are of marital bliss. Of course, you'll have your differences. However, they will be handled openly and you will always reach an agreement. Those are the thoughts. It is the next to impossible to believe anything else when you are in love. As men and women, we have been led to believe that if we are really in love, it's gonna just last forever. Nothing could ever overcome your love for each other. It's total bliss. The most wonderful thing you have ever experienced. You talk about the fact that other couples have lost their feelings. However, you agree that that's not gonna to happen to you. You guys are in love, we're in love. Well, here is some truth. The eternality of the in love experience is, yeah, are you ready? It's fiction, not fact. Dr. Dorothy Tenove, a psychologist, has done long range studies on this in love experience. She concluded that the average lifespan of a romantic obsession is about two years. If it is a secret love affair, it might last a little bit longer. Eventually, we all descend from the clouds and come back to earth with our eyes wide open and are able to see all the, oh, as she calls them, warts of the other person. Yes, warts of the other person. We are able to see that some of our partner's personality traits are downright irritating and ugly. Some behavior patterns are annoying. They have the capacity to be critical and judgmental. Oh yes, those little traits we overlooked when we were, oh yes, in love, are now huge mountains. Welcome to the real world of relationships and marriage where there are lots of senseless little arguments like you left the cap off the toothpaste again?
You put the toilet paper on the roll backwards, it goes over, not under. It's a world where the dishes do not do themselves or walk to the kitchen alone and clothes do not wash themselves. In this world, a look can hurt and a word can crush. Intimate lovers can become enemies and marriage or the relationship a battlefield. What the hell happened to the in love experience? What happened to the better, for better or worse? It was but an illusion. Feelings of, did we really have the real thing? Feeling tricked or deceived? The problem is faulty information. The faulty information is the idea that the in love obsession would last forever. Let's look at why it's being called an obsession. Someone who is in love cannot think about anything else. If everyone in the world went around like that, no one would be able to complete their jobs. Everyone would stay home in bed cuddling all day. College students would never graduate because they cannot concentrate. Everyone would be daydreaming 24-7. Yikes! The in-love state gives the illusion that you have an intimate relationship. You feel like you belong to, the, to each other. You feel like you could conquer the world's problems. Here are three reasons the falling in love experience is not real. First, falling in love is not an act of the will or a conscious choice. No matter how much we want to fall in love, we cannot make it happen. It often happens at an inappropriate time, inopportune time, when we least expect it. Second, falling in love is not real love because it is effortless. The in love state takes very little discipline, if any, or conscious effort on your part or our part. Third, one who is in love is not genuinely interested in fostering the personal growth of the other person. Most often, only purpose we have when we fall in love is to lose the feelings of loneliness. Unfortunately, marriage is often used for just that. The in love experience does not focus on our own personal growth or that of the other person. It gives the sense that you have arrived. You no longer need to grow. Our beloved is perfect, and so am I. Recognize the in love experience for what it really is a temporary emotional high. So now you can pursue real love. You ask, what does that look like? It is the kind of love that requires effort and discipline. It is the choice to use your energy in a way to benefit the other person, knowing that if your partner's life is enriched by your actions and efforts, yours will be as well. To have the satisfaction of having genuinely loving another does not require the euphoria of the in love experience. In fact, true love cannot begin until the in love experience has run its course. The beautiful things we do while in that in love obsession we cannot take credit for. It is an instinctual force that goes beyond our normal behavior. However, once we return to the real world of human choice and we make the choice to be kind and loving, that is real love. The good news here is there is hope for married couples who have lost all their in love feelings. Love is a choice, so you have the capacity to love after the in love obsession has died and you and your partner have returned to the real world. 
That kind of love begins with an attitude or a way of thinking that says, I'm married to you. I choose to look out for your interests, as well as finding ways to express that decision to love. You might be thinking, uh, that seems so unexciting and blah. Where are the shooting stars, balloons, and exciting emotions? The twinkle in the eye, the out-of-this-world sex? Well, as we covered, that is mostly an illusion. And in order to have real love, you must meet each other's deep emotional needs. As humans, one of our deepest emotional needs is to feel loved. Someone making the conscious choice to learn what our needs are and choosing to find ways to meet them will be exciting beyond anything you ever felt when you were infatuated. Tune in tomorrow as we discuss the five love languages and learn that you can fill your partner's love tank. I'm Wendy Johnson with Wendy Johnson's Life Coaching and St. Paul's Free University.